Have you ever wondered if the manner in which a prospect was signed had an impact on their MLB success rate? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the success rates of players who were drafted out of high school, college, or signed as international free agents to see if one group performed any better than the other in Major League Baseball. Stay tuned. As many of you already know, there are three ways players are acquired by Major League Baseball organizations. First, players can be drafted out of high school. Second, players can be drafted out of college or junior colleges. And finally, players can be signed as international free agents during the international signing period. Now that we have distinguished our three subgroups, let's create a concrete definition for success at the MLB level. War is one of the most popular statistics used in Major League Baseball to measure a player's value offensively and defensively. In this image, you can see a breakdown of how war is measured. Each war total is defined, with one being MLB bench warmers, one through two MLB role players, two through three being an average MLB big leaguer, three through four being a solid MLB player, four through five encompassing all-star caliber players, five through six including league stars, and finally, players with six plus wars being potential MVP candidates. In my data, I chose to use players with a five plus war, which is in between all-star and league star caliber players. Next, I created my subgroups based on players who have posted at least one five plus war season over the past 10 years. I collected data for high school draftees, college draftees, and international signees. Here you can see a list of the high school draft subgroup with a total of 36 players posting a five plus war season in the past 10 years. Many players on this list posted multiple five war seasons, and you can see all the data used in this video on a spreadsheet over on my website at www.letstalkwax.com. Mike Trout came in first place in the subgroup with nine five plus war seasons, while Manny Machado, Mookie Betts, and Nolan Arenado all tied for second place with six five plus war seasons. The next subgroup is international hitters with a total of 39 players having posted a five plus war season over the last 10 years. Adrian Beltre and Jose Altuve lead this list with five five-plus war seasons, while Jose Ramirez and Robinson Cano tied for third place with four five-plus war seasons. Now, there are many players in all of these subgroups, like Miguel Cabrera, who would have had more five-plus seasons if my data had gone back further than 10 years, which is also something to keep in mind when you look at this data. Our final and largest subgroup are college and JUCO draftees. Paul Goldschmidt takes the number one spot on this list with six five-plus war seasons, with Aaron Judge and Josh Donaldson tying for second with five five-plus war seasons over the last 10 years. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky, but I'm going to do my best to explain how I created success rate scores. In this slide, you can see the total number of five-plus war seasons for high school, international, and NCAA subgroups. Now, remember when I mentioned players having multiple five-plus war seasons? I also gathered those numbers as well to create a total number. I needed an actual control to measure this data against. The five-plus war players and seasons don't mean much unless the numbers can be measured against the total number of high school, international, and NCAA signings for a given year. You can see that in 2022, there were 118 high school players signed in the draft, making up 11% of that year. There were 481 international contracts signed, making up 46%, and 453 NCAA players signed, making up 43% of all players acquired in 2022. I ran this data from all the players acquired in 2021 as well. As you can see, high schoolers make up the smallest subgroup among total players acquired in both 2021 and 2022. Now that we have all of our data gathered, I'm going to explain how I created an SR, or success rate score. You can see the formula I use for both five plus players and the combination of five plus players and seasons. Although high school draftees only had 36 five plus war players and 87 five plus total war seasons, they only accounted for 11% of the players acquired in 2022 and 12% in 2021, giving them the top score of 32 and 31.7 over the last two years. College hitters held the second highest success rate scores over 2021 and 2022, with international players finishing in third place. And as I mentioned before, I also calculated the total Total number of five plus war players and the number of five plus war seasons each player had in the last 10 years. 
In the combined category, college hitters put up the highest score in 2022, while high school hitters took the crown in 2021. Now, before we jump into our pitcher data, if you guys enjoy my content, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. I've got Bowman Chrome autograph checklist breakdowns for all Bowman releases 2019 to the present. I've also got a top 100 Bowman Chrome autographs list and a top 100 Bowman Chrome autographs under $50 list. Some other cool perks include a private Let's Talk Wax Discord server, 24 hours early access to all my video info, and free monthly giveaways. Like I said, if you guys want to help support the channel, I'll put a link to my Patreon page in the video description. Hopefully you're beginning to understand how my data was calculated and measured. As I mentioned before, you can find all this data on a spreadsheet over at my website at letstalkwax.com. Now I also want to see how this data applied to pitchers over the last 10 years. Pitchers drafted out of high school accrued 24 5-plus war seasons. Clayton Kershaw took the number one spot with six 5-plus seasons, Zach Greinke finished in second place with five, and Madison Bumgarner finished in third with three. The next pitcher subgroup was international pitchers, who locked in 19 players with 5-plus war seasons over the last 10 years. Johnny Cueto led this group with three seasons, while Felix Hernandez, Jose Quintana, and Shohei Otani all tying for second place with two. NCAA pitchers are yet again the largest group of 5-plus war pitchers pitchers with a total of 30. Max Scherzer ran away from all subgroups with nine five-plus war seasons. Justin Verlander took second with five, and Chris Sale and Jacob deGrom tied for second with four. Here's the pitching data for all three subgroups for five-plus players, five-plus total seasons, and the total of both. Now, one small problem with this data is that I had to use all players drafted and signed in 2021 and 2022 instead of matching pitchers with pitchers and hitters with hitters. In the pitching department, high school draftees came in first place in every category. The data also looks very consistent with college and international signees finishing in second and third place, respectively, in each category. Finally, to answer our question, which subgroup has the best MLB success rate, here are the totals for hitters and pitchers. High school draftees had the highest success rate of 87.5 in 2022 and 2021, with NCAA draftees coming in second at 80.3 and international signees in third at 42.5. I would have liked to find more data on the percentage of players acquired for more than two years, but it may have taken me two years to gather it all. Another flaw with the data is that it only extends over the past 10 years. There are often times where strong high school, collegiate, and international classes ebb and flow, so always keep that in consideration. But over the last 10 years, high school draftees hold the top spot as far as MLB success goes. As I mentioned before, if you guys want to see the complete Excel breakdown of all the data from this video, you can head over to my website and find it at www.letstalkwax.com. And if you want to help support the channel and unlock exclusive content, please head over to my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the description. I want to give a quick shout out to all of my Patreon Level 3 sponsors, Max, Brad, Bruce Wiley, Chris Kwiatkowski, G Squared Collectibles, Castle Cards, Eric Alonzo, Graham Cochran, Jason Hall, Jonathan Asensio, Andrew Smith, Matthew, Jerry Rudolph, Justinger's Breaks, Kenny, Larry Canterbury, Lucas Benita, Sup Den Bros, 909 Sports Cards, Max Antony, Michael McDonough, Mike Barrier, Tom Barda, Bird's Eye Breakers, Bo Davies, and Christopher Krasinski. Another quick shout out to everyone who supports me on Patreon and on YouTube. If you guys enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel or checking out my other videos. Y'all have a great day.